hundreds of thousands took to the streets across France to protest against President Emmanuel Macron's pension reforms in a final day of demonstrations before a crucial court decision on the legislation. There were new violent clashes between police and protesters in western France, while demonstrators also stormed the headquarters of French luxury goods firm LVMH in Paris. All eyes will turn to France's Constitutional Council, the country's highest administrative authority, which will announce its verdict on the pensions legislation in the final hurdle before Macron can sign it into law. The protest march in Paris was closing in on the Constitutional Council's headquarters, opposite the Louvre Museum in central Paris, which was protected by a phalanx of anti-riot police in full-body armor brandishing shields. Police expected around 400,000 to 600,000 people to take part nationwide, fewer than half the nearly 1.3 million who demonstrated in March at the height of the protests against the reforms, which include raising the retirement age from 62 to 64. If the court issues a green light, as ministers are privately confident it will, Macron hopes to sign the changes into law immediately, clearing the way for them to enter into force before the end of 2023. Strike momentum has been clearly waning on what is the 12th day of action since the start of the movement in January, with employees reluctant to sacrifice salaries for what seems like a losing battle.